Welcome to the Great Sound Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT, it's Yo. finally happened. What what happened? They they finally decided they've had enough. Ticketmaster is getting attacked by the Department of Justice for a monopoly on tickets. It's about goddamn time. No shit, dude. It really is. It really is. It's about time. Oh, I hate it. It's about time. Man. It makes me so mad. It's disgusting. Well, the, it, well the, the prices that they put on these seats is absolutely. Well, gross, and then there are their own resale market, so they don't even yeah. care if people they it's they let bots cool. buy up all the tickets and then they resale because they get extra fees on resale. I will tell you a story about resale that made me mad as fuck. <laughs> so I had tickets. Bad. I had tickets to a show sure. last in like I think December of last year. Bad. So I was like, man, I don't really feel like going to this show. Let me just put my tickets up for sale. What was the show for context? Uh, I think it was the Toadies. Okay. All right. Uh, <clears throat> little, so, little look into Jonas's lifestyle yeah. right so, there. Uh, so they were like when I went to go find the resale. Uh, like when you, it's funny now because when you go to Ticketmaster and they're all sold out, like at a general admission show like that, mm -hmm. it doesn't list all the different tickets at different prices. It lists one price. Mm. So like, so it was like, I don't remember what it was for, for whatever I'll say, say it was the tickets were selling for $50 a ticket at mm -hmm. resale. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, I really want to get rid of this ticket. I'll just sell it for 45. So I put my sale price at 45. Pretty good deal. Right. I was like, it was still like, I, it was like at face value or whatever. I don't even remember. Yeah. So they're like, good news. Your ticket sold. I had two. They're like, sale price, $120. Pay out to you, $90. They sold them for more than I asked for, and they kept the fucking difference. That's disgusting. Yeah. So like, they still sold them for whatever they wanted. And then I only got what I asked. Wait a minute. They sold the ticket twice. They sold it to you. And then when you resold it, they got a percentage of the resale. Yes. That's why it's. They it's sold it twice. They sold the ticket twice. They actually make more money when you try. That's to why I said that's why they're not stopping bots. But the thing that the thing I'm mad about is they Th uh, they ask me a price I want to sell it for. They sell it for what they want and they keep the difference. Yeah, I mean that's that's insane. Okay, I'll give you that's insane, but the fact that you can sell something twice is like that's so mind-bogglingly like it's so like deviously, insanely, intelligently evil. Oh yeah, <laughs> I mean, not can't. to mention I, I've never even thought that that was and, the case. And, and it's not to mention they say here's your fifty dollar ticket, and it's ninety five dollars when you check out because they add service fee, convenience fee, whatever. <laughs> All right, I want to get back to that, but so what? What are they being brought on? Where they're being brought? The, well, they're just saying because they're because Live Nation is the event company. Okay. Ticketmaster is the ticketing company. Yes. And they're oh, they own each other. I think Live Nation owns Ticketmaster. Yeah. So they're basically they're, you can't buy tickets anywhere else other than if you go to the venue itself to buy a ticket. So they're they're going to try to break up Ticketmaster. Yeah, essentially break them up so they can't be owned by each other. All right, and it's, I'm sure that they they've already bought like a bunch of it's the uh, what was it the Live Nation. Is what, what you said it was? Yeah, that's the company I think that owns Ticketmaster. So, yeah, so Live Nation will most likely have to do one in Ticketmaster. Most they'll likely have to they divest have to Ticketmaster out of their thing. They'll have to sell it to another company or something. And honestly, that makes sense, man, because they are a monopoly. You really can't get tickets anywhere else. Yeah, because very, if you try to get tickets in person, you're going to lose out because the people can buy them online way faster. Oh, right, you can't right. beat the speed of an online person. Right, and even if you go to like the venue's website, you get redirected to Ticketmaster. Very few yeah. venues sell their mm. own tickets. Mm. Like, um, like uh, they have uh, like here, uh, they do like ACL. The they have the TV show ACL Live that's been being filmed in Austin forever. The venue is it called ACL Live? They sell their own tickets. Mm -hmm. Like I bought tickets to a show there in a few months, and it went through their website. Completely different company. They didn't use Ticketmaster, oh, but yeah. everybody else uses Ticketmaster and Live Nation. Thousand yeah. percent. M majority of people do. Yeah, I mean, look at the Taylor Swift fiasco that happened. You know what I mean? Like that's yeah. that's yeah. another. You know, but this has been a problem for years. It really, it's been for a long time. And, and I don't know if it's like you've had your opportunity to gouge the community for all of this time. And now that, you know, there's there's obviously some economic strain that's going on in this country that like even me and you are not like privy to. 
Oh, absolutely. Um, I'm, but I, I am cognizant is that people are going through it. And this is just another way to gouge people. I don't like these these major companies are just like hoarding money. And I don't understand why. And I don't know if maybe I don't make the I'm not in the profit margins to understand why. But it, it has been disgusting for a long time. Now, I have not bought a ticket for anything in a long time, Jonas. Right. Um, I buy tickets to stuff all the time. I think the last thing I saw was Outcast in like, <laughs> in like the 2000s. Well, somewhere. yeah, you went with me to They Might Be Giants. Oh, yeah, I did do that. But I got those tickets for free. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> But, yeah, I mean, like, the series last time I bought a ticket was probably, like, the Outcast concert, like the yeah. 2000s. Yeah, I mean, I'm always but, buying tickets to sporting events or, and, you and, know. But even you, you, you feel like you have to because you, you know that if you don't buy tickets fast, they yeah, that's what that's what I do. It's like I will be like, oh, this thing's happening in six months. I'll buy like two or th- two or four tickets, and then I'll just try to find people to go with me because yeah. I, that way at least I get to pay face value, which is still absorbent. It, but like that, if not, if you have to go to the resale market, you're paying three times what the tickets exactly. cost. So, so your options are either you buy the ticket the fast way through Ticketmaster, right? When they go, go on the sale, ven- you go to the venue. They tell you either here's your ticket. Or go to Ticketmaster. Or three, you wait through the scout, which will either have you buying off of some dude off the street for too much, or going to Ticketmaster. Ticketmaster has literally cornered all three options of initial sale, uh, post sale, and resale. Oh, absolutely. Well, and I think most venues don't even have ticket offices. To, I mean, you that's like, what I'm saying. like some of them do. Like if you want, like 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 the hockey arena, you can go there during the day, and someone's there, and they'll sell you tickets. Even right? if it's fifty percent, Ticketmaster is the other fifty. Oh, which Ticketmaster. Means they have, pro- which, I would say Ticketmaster is like eighty because these small I would clubs, think so too. like these little clubs in Austin that sell tickets to shows. There isn't somebody sitting there selling you a paper ticket. They're gonna say, "Take your ass to Ticketmaster and buy the ticket." Yeah. Like they're not even selling paper tickets anymore. No, nah. like it's, yeah, we don't go outside. Yeah, and th- and that's <laughs> another thing that really bums me out is like you used to be able to buy them online. They still would send you the paper ticket. Anymore, you can't even get a paper ticket. Yeah. Like, you can print a screen out that says, yeah, you, you print like, your oh, receipt. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> here's, your, here's your digital receipt of like, just white, a white box with black letters that says, going to see Billy Joel. <laughs> your seat's 1A19. Yeah, exactly. For your $400 ticket. Yeah, so I don't know, Jeez. man. I hope they burn, and I hope tickets get cheaper because of it. I it mean, won't. they definitely will, because once you break up a monopoly and they have competition, then they have somebody they have to compete for it. And... Like, it was a good ride. I don't know if they thought they were just going to ride that out forever, just gouging the community. It's it's crazy. Oh, they knew what they were doing. I mean, of course they, they did. They knew they're and, like, well, we'll be we'll corner the market, and maybe one day they'll break us up. And if not... Me- yeah, and tell me that's not the most it's not the most intelligently if I had the money to ever. do it I would have done it exactly it's super smart and I'm not necessarily even mad at you for finding this a uh, loophole but they did essentially get to the point where they got so big that they just bought out all the competition because there used to be other venues other services that provided tickets yeah but Ticketmaster just became the well like, Ticketmaster used to be its own entity so then people yeah. would work, you'd have to negotiate with Ticketmaster about selling tickets. Well, now Live Nation, they host the events and own the ticketing company. So they, they automatically can put whatever the hell they want Which, out. Because yeah, honestly makes sense. If you're, if you're coordinating these events, why aren't you selling the tickets? I mean, sense. as someone who runs events and sells tickets, I do both. Yeah. Would it make sense for you to hire somebody else to sell tickets for you? No, I sell my own tickets through exactly. my website. Exactly. So like, if anybody else was selling tickets in town, wouldn't you just be like, look, I'm going to buy you out, my man. If you're I going to continue money. doing what you do, but you work for me now. It makes sense. Yeah. I mean, but on I the same it. note, you become a freaking all-powerful demagogue who just <laughs> charges four hundred dollars I mean, for a Taylor you Swift. Gotta, uh, step on somebody's back to get to the top. You and know what I'm saying? Yeah, you do. You do. <laughs> Okay, I'm not going to tell anybody at home not to step on backs because you have to. And I say that you should step on backs. Every business that starts takes business away from another business. But just realize if you step on enough backs, you end up flat on yours. Mm-hmm. You dig me? Ain't wrong. But, I mean, it's it's so true. Like, I mean, even just doing something as simple as doing, like, a like little events – Someone else is already doing that. You're not the, yeah. you're, so you're taking business away from somebody. Yeah. You know, there's somebody who's like, oh, I'm going to go to this event instead of that event. So, yeah. you know, and, and no way any of these companies are going broke. They're going to be around no. forever. Ticketmaster is not going to be a name that's not still going to be synonymous with tickets because I'm sure it'll be that. There might be some other services, but we're all going to go to the brand that we trust and know. 
or a trust. Yeah. Right. 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 <laughs> I mean, but that's that's the key. It's like, oh, the Ticketmaster's been around forever. Yes. Yeah, it's, so. it's, it's Stockholm Syndrome. I don't know, man. But anywho, that's all the time we have today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. D&D. Oh, uh, yeah.